I already have installed my solar. So. Oh. 100 watts over here, 43 here, and uh, I used adhesive tape, double sided. Sticks really well, it just needs to clean. So now I want to hide the wires. Got it out here. Moving on. Now it's going to go here and then down the pillar. You can even, you can even use a net. Ran out of wire. wire. Making a joint. Pass it there to the pillar. Now just boom. Boom. As all my solar panels on VWT3 Resty is already installed, now I'm facing an issue when my van is parked, uh, only auxiliary battery is charged, is being charged. Meanwhile, the starter battery is getting drained, and after some while, it's showing not very good readings. So the controller is here. It's it's maybe not very good place. But as you know, the car is quite tiny and uh, I think this is the best place. Anyway, so what I'm coming up with, I have these micro switches and the diode. The relay is over here. So the idea is to feed up the relay with a micro switch, <coughs> with, a, with a terminal, positive terminal. And if you feed it up with positive terminal the really uh, the positive also will feed the alternator so I have another idea to place a diode on a on a returning light on a feed to, to alternator that only when you start the car alternator will feed the really and it will and it, it will charge the dual battery but if you want to charge the batteries only with the solar panels while the car is parked You can check battery readings also. Okay, so it has 12.75 volts and 940 cold crank ampere hours. That's awesome. And the uh, resistance is really, really good. That's the feed from the alternator. It feeds up the relay. Also, it might feed up another relay that goes that feeds up the fridge. Okay, so this is always constant positive from the alternator. This is a woke wake up line really wake up line this is the charging charging line these two i don't know To sum up this one through the switch and it feeds the relay. <laughs>